Sentencing today for a woman convicted of having her wealthy boyfriend killed back in 1994. In January, Nanette Packard was convicted for her role in the killing of 55 year old Bill McLaughlin. Now, police say that she had another man gun down her boyfriend in hopes of cashing in on a life insurance policy. KTLA Sarah Welch live now in Santa Ana with the details. Sarah. Glenn, the Orange County Deputy DA said the Net Packard's trail of destruction, shattered lives, and con games ends today. She looked haggard in the courtroom, the uh, family expressing anger and sadness as they expressed their income impact statements. A true black widow. The defendant sat emotionless as a friend and then daughters of murder victim Bill McLaughlin spoke of their love for him and his vicious death 18 years ago, orchestrated by Nanette Johnson, formerly Nanette Packard. The fact that you, Nanette, destroyed so many lives, including my dad's, along the way, is vile. I feel very grateful to have such a wonderful father in my life for as long as I did. I wish he could have stayed with us longer and that God would have chosen his time to leave, rather than a person with a gun and a greedy heart. The judge sentenced Packer to life without parole for the 1994 murder of her then millionaire boyfriend, shot to death in his Newport Beach home by Eric Naposky, a former NFL linebacker turned bouncer and Packard's other lover. He is a coward for not facing these people. Naposky was supposed to be sentenced too, but it was postponed. The 260 pound man refused to come out of his cell and show his face before the victim's family. And Eric Naposky, you know, again, he. Uh, he threw his binky down today and refused to come out. <laughs> He's fearful because he did it. He knows he did it. Prosecutors say Packard convinced Naposky to shoot McLaughlin for financial gain. In 1996, she spent a year in jail for stealing close to a half million dollars from the man before and after his murder. The case ran cold until 2009 when a re review of original evidence led to Naposky and Packard's arrest. And during the much time you will have to think that. You own up to your part in my dad's murder. Naposky's sentencing was postponed because he's trying to seek a new trial. However, the prosecutor does not believe that will happen. His sentencing is set for August 10th. Glenn and Leela, back to you.